Welcome back to the channel. So before I get into the subject of today's video, which is uh, this experiment with cheese and eating it before I went to bed last night and how it affects my uh, blood sugar, which was tending to be low in the lower in the mornings. I just want to do a couple channel um, updates and maybe ask you guys some questions about what you would like to see. So first couple things are uh, I'm warming up to the idea of getting in front of the camera. I know a few people have asked if I would do videos where I'm actually in front of the camera. Um, I'm pretty introverted kind of person, but honestly watching some of the other channels and just the inspiring level of personal detail that people give about their journey with carnivore and just the health issues they're going through and everything um, really gives me confidence to get in front of the camera and put myself out there. And if they can do it, and they're, they're giving all these really incredible personal details, some very inspiring things, a lot of pain that people have been through, a lot of inspiring changes that people have been through. Um, I feel like I can do that. So um, one of my worries was uh, my prior career, which I retired from, um, it puts me in a little bit of danger in terms of putting my face and my name out there, but not, not very much. So that was one of my worries. But I think I can get over that at this point. I've been retired long enough from that particular career. So um, that's one thing. If you'd like to see that or if you have any tips, um, I would probably do it in a very casual way, not a very high production way. I like the more casual YouTube channels where it's not super high production value with intros and that kind of thing. Not that there's anything wrong with their channel, some of my love. Um, but just for me, um, that's not really my style. So it'd probably be very casual, um, life vlog type of videos. So if, if that's something you want to see, I would really appreciate um, some comments. And if you like how I do it now, I'd appreciate those comments too. Uh, the second part in terms of the channel is um, I'm thinking about doing some more videos with higher production quality, but I also want to keep things more casual. So let me know what you like in terms of, do you like channels where it's obviously really highly skilled editing, or do you like the more life vlog, casual, everyday approach? I can see the advantage of both. Um, just depends on the person's style and the subject matter. I tend to be on the more casual side and I'd like to start expanding the quality of my videos, but in a more casual way. So like I said, maybe get my face out there. So anything you guys think about that also, I would love to hear. And then the last thing is the name. Steamed white rice started kind of as, as just a joke. Um, I just thought it was kind of funny. I used to love steamed white rice. I still love steamed white rice. Um, and I thought it was kind of catchy. Once you get used to it, you probably remember it. It doesn't blend in with the crowd. But I've been toying with changing the name. It doesn't have to necessarily be anything carnivore related because I've got a lot of other content and I want to expand out into some other content. But if, if you like the name, let me know why. And if you think I should keep it the same. I love the irony of the carnivore and the steamed white rice name. But if you've got any ideas or maybe names that you could recommend... Um, drop them in the comments so I can see and uh, maybe I'll change it maybe I'll keep it the same who knows I'm not sure if it affects anything drastically if the content is good I watch channels and I'm not really concerned with what their name is but I do think a catchy name or something that stands out is good so today will be a really good example of a super low-tech unedited type of video so Shout out to autodraw.com. My daughter actually showed me this and she was laughing at me because I am notorious for not being able to draw. And this has AI and will actually help you complete drawing. So today I'm using it very simply just to demonstrate some blood sugar things. But if you want to draw things or add them to your videos or something, I haven't played with it too much, but autodraw is really cool. It's got some awesome features. And as far as I can tell, it's free. So on to the actual subject of the video today. So if you've been watching some of the videos, you've known that I've had a really great flat line in range blood sugar during the day, 
haven't really had to do much. It's been very easy, very like su- such a relief for me not to think about my blood sugar every second of the day. And I do attribute that to carnivore 100%. So the only, I wouldn't even call it a problem, but the adjustment I've had to make is in the mornings, I've tended to go low. So overnight, it'll kind of creep down throughout the night. And I've adjusted my basal insulin, which is the long-term insulin. And I haven't made too much drastic changes, but it still hasn't taken away that kind of slow creep downward. And then sometimes when I wake up in the morning, because my blood sugars tended high before, I can actually feel symptomatic in the 80s, especially if it's still creeping lower. And so that's very uncomfortable at this point. And I am being very cautious about having a severe hypoglycemic event that's unexpected. So I wanted to kind of try to get things more sideways and not creeping down. And then I can readjust my basal insulin and go from there. So last night, my wife had a business party and there was some um, food out that obviously I can't have. And I wasn't tempted by it at all, which is another great thing about carnivore for me. But there was some cheese and so like a cheese board out. And so I figured I would try a little experiment before bed last night and see cheese usually raises my blood sugar a little bit more. And I, I can use cheese during the day if I have a little bit of low blood sugar to maybe um, get it to rise just a little bit. But I wanted to see if I ate more than just a little bit, what it would do to my blood sugars overnight and to that tendency to go down. So kind of what happens like my day will start out like this. It's like sideways. And then maybe at night a little bit it rises. And then as I'm sleeping, what it does, it starts to creep very slowly all the way until the morning and then it gets down to a low point where I can actually feel hypoglycemic and then only a couple times I've had to actually treat that but it still doesn't feel great and then so it'll come back up when I eat in the morning a little bit and then I'm usually flatlined again but this trough right here um, doesn't feel great and if I want to get my blood sugars stable in the 80s I don't want to be going down to the 50s overnight. I don't want that creep. So here's what I saw when I added cheese instead of that line. So I had the same sideways line. And then so right around, I want to say like 12 a.m., I ate the cheese. And instead of the downward creep, I had a slow rise all the way overnight. And I think I woke up this morning, it was in the 160s or 170s. And so I had to actually take insulin this morning. And now I'm coming back down a little bit, very, very slowly as a correction. But that was the difference. It was totally inverted because I ate the cheese. The other thing that I noticed, I didn't notice any, I didn't notice anything immediately in terms of like joint pain, um, or any other inflammation type symptoms. I think it's probably too quick and too small of a a, uh, sample size to feel that, although I know some people do. But the other thing I felt this morning is I did feel a little bit more hunger, a little bit more craving, just in general. Not Not for cheese, not for anything in particular, but just more of like a hunger feeling. Whereas I usually wake up and I can cruise. I have to actually kind of make myself eat sometimes in the morning. And I do think I'm one of those people, I don't skip breakfast. I do think it's good to have protein when you first wake up for various reasons, which I can get into in another video. But this is just an N equals one experiment. I just wanted to see what it did. It does confirm for me what cheese generally does, which is it tends to raise blood sugar. It tends to spur on more cravings and just different things than Um, beef, eggs, and salt does. I can eat beef, eggs, and salt before bed and it will help keep my blood sugar sideways, but it will not raise my blood sugar the way the cheese did. And again, there's lots of variables being type 1 diabetic. There's hormones that can change based on what you eat, based on your life stress levels, cortisol, all kinds of things. But if this helps anybody, maybe you are tending low 
and maybe just, I ate three slices of cheese, just average slices of cheese. Maybe one slice of cheese, if you're tending low, might do you good and if you don't have inflammation and it doesn't affect your cravings. Or maybe you just need to lower your basal insulin um, to keep things straight and you can just stay on total carnivore. Or if you're not diabetic, this is a good kind of example from someone who doesn't have a, um, their own insulin production. If you're stalling out on carnivore and you're adding too much cheese or eating too much dairy, this can kind of show you based on what my blood sugars did, it might, you might be having to produce more insulin, which is another signal to store fat when you eat dairy and that might be stalling you out. So maybe cut that down, maybe just go back to, um, just the, the meat and eggs or whatever you're doing, maybe up your exercise a little bit or whatever the case may be. But I think it, it does show that there's a tendency for dairy to have more of a, um, a carbohydrate like effect, even though it's super low carb, it does have a different effect on your body. At least it does, um, from my experience with my blood sugar. So Hopefully that information is helpful for someone out there. Again, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on the channel, the name, production value, like would you like casual videos still that are high quality, but just not super edited with, you know, like a musical intro and all that. I really don't want to do that kind of thing. And then um, also if you want to see me in front of the camera, I'm definitely warming up to that idea. And if people like, both. I can do both. Sometimes in front of the camera, sometimes the no face video. So I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all the comments and I will talk to you later.